Hey guys, in um, this video I'm going to be having an unboxing and a review of the Pogo Stylus for iPod Touch 2G. So let's start by opening this package. Cut this open. It's really light. Um, just the stylus and the clip is, comes with the stylus. Um, I ordered it from tin1design.com. And, ooh, it's tin. I ordered the black one. Um, let's see if I can get a good view of this. Pogo stylus, designed for iPod Touch. Second generation. Worked on all the Gigabyte models. Um, and it has some information about it on the back. Let's see if I can let you read that. Um, Pogo stylus, beautiful design to... Uh, I can't read it through the camera. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. That's all that comes in the box. So, um, let's open it up. So, here's the box. And, um, fly open. And we're going to pull out the stylus. There's your clip right there. And then here is the actual stylus. Um, the tip, uh, see if I, you guys can get a view on the tip. The tip of the stylus is really weird. It's like some sort of odd microfiber material, maybe? Um, it feels odd, though. It's like, it's almost like squishy. Harder than I expected it to. So, um, let me stop the camera for a second and test it out, and I'll review it really quick. Hey, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I've attached this clip to my iPod for the stylus. Um, the stylus just sort of clips in. It's kind of nice if you're on the go. It wraps around the back of the iPod, if you can see that. Um, let's get back to the actual stylus review itself, though. I'm just going to clip the stylus off. Tap the home button, and it's slide to unlock. Oh, I missed there. I'm sorry. Alright, here we go. So, um, now, this works surprisingly well. It works better than I expected it to, um, Let's move over a page. Um, I think my lamp is blocking your view of the iPod. Right, there we go. So, um, works really well. Um, I've been testing out with a couple of apps already, including the web browser. But, um, right now we'll just open up a Sketches document, which is a drawing application for the iPhone and iPod Touch. If you don't have, if you don't have it, I recommend it. It's really fun. Um, best drawing app I've played with yet. So, um, I'm going to create a new drawing here, and right now I'm in full screen mode, so let me just change my color to, I don't know, a nice blue, and let's go back into full screen mode, turn my iPod on its side, and let's just draw something, I don't know, a uh, smiley face, excuse my drawing skills, I can't draw, um, and draw some hair, uh, and a nose. And so it works pretty well with drawing applications. I've been playing around with it for a minute. Um, it works better than your finger, that's for sure. Drawing apps are just bad for the finger. Anyway, so next let's use another app. Um, for example, let's open up Tweety. It is a, um, it's a Twitter IM client for iPhone and iPod Touch. And so um, let's open it up by just pressing the new tweet button. And let's click right here. Now, you guys got a good view of the keyboard right here. Um, zoom in a little bit for you. Um, let me just type a little bit with this. Um, I'll type in, uh, there you go. Hello, YouTube. Um, you can see up there. Um, it's sort of nice. It's more accurate, that's one thing for sure, but it's not exactly faster, I would say. More accurate, but not really faster. So, um, and the last thing I'm going to show you is just a simple web page in Safari, I guess. Um, here I, I am on the iShoot home page, the iPhone app. I shoot. I'm sure lots of you guys have heard of it. Anyway, so um, let's just scroll down the page a little bit. You can zoom in with this. People say you can't. 
you can. You just double tap on something, and it zooms in. Double tap to zoom back out. Um, videos work. So just tap on that. Um, slider bars still work great. Slider bars seem to be a whole lot more responsive. So let's pause that, and let me just show you how the slider bar seems to be more responsive. Um, lots of times with your finger, your original finger, you can actually hit buttons and slider bar just doesn't work sometimes. I don't know, it just seems to have some problems with me, but this seems to be a whole lot more accurate on slider bars. Just my opinion. Uh, that too, there you go. Alright, um, it's just a quick review of the Pogo stylus for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. You can get it at 101design.com. I believe they are $15 right now. Um, not bad for what it is. I really like it. Um, clips great. I like it a lot. Alright, so, um, um, there, if you're on iAlligator, reviews down there, and if you're on YouTube, reviews over here. So, rate, comment, and subscribe.